So, ladies and gents, listen, Eula is powerful. He is strong. And I'm gonna go fight the Magu Kanker right now with the team you currently see with my Eula. And let's see what kind of power she brings forth to the table. Obviously, my team does make her that much more powerful, and that is the purpose of a team composition. So, yeah, let's just do it. Um, this is her normal attack damage right now. She's doing 14k with super conduct, obviously. So. Yeah, she's 19k right there, 23k, just normal, normal, normal attack, you know? She does a lot of damage, that's all you guys need to know. And, uh, yeah, alright, I'm just trying to get him to his second form here and teleport somewhere to use my actual ability, as well as have Bennett have his burst. Here we go, and it's about to go down. Hopefully my Zhongli shield does last for the time being, I don't think it will, but... Let's see. Um, pretty much almost killed this individual. Um, three hundred. Wow, three hundred and fifteen k. Um, I didn't hit him that much there, so I've been missing a lot of stacks. But Eula is powerful, guys. I've made a, I made tons of video on Eula already, but I'm gonna make this one really quick and short to make sure you guys realize this. All right. Um, my Eula is currently having or wielding the wolf's gravestone excellent pay of flame set excellent she has one constellation on her and her talents are 80 10. she is my most invested character in the current game and let me tell you she was worth it she was very worth it however if you're going free to play just know that you're going to need to invest a lot to get her to this level and uh like 50 percent of her damage is done all by her elemental like burst so make sure you guys have that in mind this is incredible you guys want this and you guys want this as well all good all good in the hood now eula has insane amount of like multipliers just on her normal attacks so if you get this to a, a crown you'll do a lot of damage with it as well and as you guys can see just her multipliers are insane i just want to make it very clear that she needs someone to super conduct i have ball or the riding shogun or a or whoever or whatever you want to call her and she is incredible for her she allows super conduct she gives that energy recharge through her ultimate and it's just absolutely insane lots of lots of energy coming from her and that me allows me to sort of completely ignore a second cry unit on my team and just reuse the riding shogun as i can just ultimate and get eula's ultimate back listen uh, i know a lot of you guys might not have the riding shogun so um another team that i would suggest that you guys use with her is a running official everybody has official she was basically free and you can run her and if you don't want to run bennett as well you can have diana diana is also free so you should probably have her as well why you want this type of team and you can run bennett you you probably have a bennett um so yeah this would be a free to play team quote unquote i guess if you have it official for the super conduct you just you know release oz and he's he's gonna do like passive damage anyway so it's gonna be like a makeshift ride in Jogan for you guys um you're gonna have diona because diona is going to give you that energy that you need because the ride in shogun does that and diana does give you a shield if you don't have jongli uh, especially really really good and she has heals as well so make sure you guys keep a note of that as well bennett insane healing insane attack buff incredible really really good uh so um that's pretty much it so i'm gonna show you guys this team as well just to show you guys the comparison and damage because i did 315k with a just a few hits as well as an ultimate so let's see what you can do with just this magu kenki i have come to slay you all right let's get down here all right let's move we're, we're gonna have to battle that He's super annoying in the abyss, by the way. But Eula makes quick work if you use her um, against this guy. So that is also a positive. And here we go. Get some particle running. Get some more particles in there. As you guys can see, I pretty much almost have my ultimate. Ooh, dodge this. And I should have it now. And I'm going to use my ultimate in order to get some super conduct going. Uh, use this as well. And... I actually don't have my shield right now, which I probably should have you know, thought of that beforehand. But, as you can see, we still do some insane damage, especially because of Bennett and the Superconduct. 
Actually, I didn't crit there. All right, we got everyone's ult now. And uh, I mean, not everyone, everyone that we need ult at least. And we, we're just going to get started here. All right, we can just do it, actually. And he actually broke my shield, which is unfortunate because I didn't dodge. Right here we go. Um, forgot about this phase, which is unfortunate. But here, <laughs> 311,000. Uh, that one crit for sure. Um, but it's a little unlucky, unlucky that it didn't actually hit. But it actually could be good. I uh, could get a second chance here. That, this, and we go again. This might actually kill him with the E here. Okay, I shouldn't kill him. 321,000 uh, with just a few of the... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. She's absolutely powerful, really strong, whatever anyone says. She is very powerful. However, you got to keep in mind, she's a C1. C1 does increase his, her physical damage. But yeah, she's very powerful. However, you have to keep in mind, she does physical damage. She doesn't do cryo damage. She does physical damage. And that's really important because a lot of Abyss needs a lot of ammo. You know, you just collect everyone, gather people together. While Eula doesn't exactly excel at that. And no one can really support her really that well. Unless you have a proper team with maybe Kazuha. Venti is not a good one because he... You know, he makes everyone go up in the air. So maybe Kaza or Sucrose. Those two would be good. But they don't even shred um, physical damage. They don't. So you can't really use those types of characters on her team. Which is a little unfortunate. And that will hinder your, you know, Spiral Abyss performance. But she is good nonetheless. I do enjoy her. I still use her myself. She's my... You know, most invested character in the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Because if you liked this video, subscribe to the channel as well. See you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.